the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaks a better thing. The blood of Jesus is powerful. It washes you white as snow. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all unrighteousness. The blood of Jesus, a powerful weapon against the enemy and his hordes from hell. The blood of Jesus. We're going to plead it today. We're going to let the blood speak for us today. The blood of Jesus. There's nothing quite like it. Remission of sins. Justification. Redemption. The blood of Jesus. Oh God, thank you for the blood. I thank you for the blood of Jesus. A powerful force. A cleansing force. A mighty force in the war that we face. The blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for shedding your blood on Calvary. We thank you, Lord, for what the blood does and continues to do. We are under the blood. Jesus, thank you for your blood. Thank you. You didn't have to do it, but you did. Thank you for shedding your sinless, precious blood, the blood of the Lamb. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives, even to the death. The blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. This is Jennifer LeClaire. And this is mornings with the Holy Spirit pressing in daily to the power and presence of God. Today, we're going to press in to the blood of Jesus. We are going to plead the blood of Jesus against every demon power that is seeking our destruction. We're going to plead the blood of Jesus over every foul assignment from the pit of hell that has come to steal, kill, and destroy our lives. The blood of Jesus. Stick with me. We're going to get there. I want to remind you that today's broadcast is brought to you by the Seer Activation Tour Digital. I am taking this tour digital. We went all around the world with this tour. And now God has moved me into a different season. But he said, don't forget the seers. Don't forget the emerging seers. Don't forget them. Get them activated. God has given you the ability to see in the spirit. Sometimes you just need to be activated. You're going to find this course. You can get a bundle or just watch the lesson and receive the activation prayer at School of the Spirit. Dot TV, that's school of the spirit. Dot TV. Scroll down, you'll see that banner, the Seer Activation Tour Digital. God bless you. Come on in, guys. Let me know where you're coming in from, what city, what nation. I want to know. And then share this with somebody. Hello, Philippines. God bless you in Virginia Beach. Hello, Nancy. God bless you, Lloyd Ray Williams Jr. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do today. I thank you, Lord, for what you've planned and purposed for this prayer broadcast today. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our midst, things that eye has not seen, nor ear has heard, nor has ever even entered the heart of man. You are so good. Come on, guys. Come on in. Portsmouth, Virginia. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel a cool breeze. Suddenly, I feel a cool breeze. Thank you, Lord, for the wind of the Spirit today on this broadcast. Thank you, Lord, that you are blowing over us with refreshing, with newness of life. Oh, Jesus, with a grace. Hallelujah. Australia. Good morning, Ohio. Good morning, Chicago. Good morning, guys. Come on in and share this quickly. We're going to start the official broadcast in just a couple of minutes. In the meantime, share, share, share Auburn, Alabama. Share this on your timelines. Retweet it. Share it on Twitter. Share it anywhere and everywhere. Share it from YouTube. Amen. Share it so we can get more people free today. It's a freedom day. The blood of Jesus is what paved the way for your freedom. The blood of Jesus is what made a way out of no way. The blood of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jamaica, New York. Come on in, guys. Share it quickly. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to start the official broadcast. I am going uh, to start with a roll in. This becomes a podcast. We put the best of Mornings with the Holy Spirit on our podcast network. You can find it anywhere you listen to podcasts online. And you'll hear the best of all the rest of the archives 
all the rest of the replays you can find on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jennifer LeClaire Ministries. You can find that over there if you want to binge watch. We have a 24-7 live stream as well. Go check that out on my YouTube, jenniferleclair.org slash, I'm sorry, it's youtube.com slash Jennifer LeClaire Ministries. And after we do that roll in, we're going to press into a devotional reading. It's a whole, it's a Holy Spirit inspired word. He spoke to my heart. We're going to read today from Evenings with the Holy Spirit. Good morning, Shiloh, Key West. Good morning, Missouri. Hallelujah. New Jersey, Kenya. God bless you. Sharing is caring. New Jersey times two. After we read from the devotional, you're going to like that's a prophetic word. The Lord spoke to my heart. Evenings with the Holy Spirit. You can find that devotional anywhere you get books online. And then we're going to just begin to lift up the name of Jesus. That's what we're going to do. That's what's going to happen. We're going to lift up his name. He is awesome. He's mighty. We want to lift him up. We want to celebrate him. We want to praise him. Good morning, Shatona. Good morning, Luz. Good morning, uh, Dalton, Georgia. So keep coming and keep talking to me throughout the broadcast. It's important to help me break these algorithms. We need about 5,000 live people on here. Then we'd see some miracles. My God, we'll see miracles with one person. But you know what I mean? There's, there's a synergy. There's a synergy in numbers. Everyone believing, engaging on the same page, on one accord. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So share this quickly. Then after we lift up the name of Jesus, we're going to see where he takes us. See, there might be a prophetic word that comes forth. There might be uh, just, we, we just never know. We never know what is going to happen on these broadcasts. There's no script. We're just freelance praying. We're just following Holy Spirit. You're going to be blessed. However you came in this morning, whatever condition, even if you're on top of the world, you're going to be stronger. Prayer is going to strengthen you. It's going to change you from the inside out. It's going to enlighten your heart. It's going to renew your mind. All that's going to happen. So much happens in this. We can't come into the presence of God without being changed. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Tamarack. Oh, Valerie, I'll see you at church on Sunday, Awakening House of Prayer. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. Jeff is in unity. So we're going to start in literally about a minute. I'm trying to share this, guys, but I have a hard time doing that, talking to you at the same time. And I want to reach more people, so share this for me as quickly as you can. Good morning, good morning, Angela. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Then in that third segment of prayer, we're going to begin to plead the blood of Jesus. It's going to be something, my Lord. It's going to be. It's going to light you up. You're going to get a revelation. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what's going to happen. Believe God. Amen. We're going to do that, and it's going to be explosive. So get your heart ready for that. Let's stay on one accord. No hucking, huck, uh, hucksters on here pleading for money because they got a hard time and they can't, none of that. Ignore all that. These people come on, they're, they're not real, they're not true. They're just trying to distract you, play on your soulish compassion. Amen. Just just stay on one accord with God. 3 a.m., my God, it's 3 a.m. somewhere in California. Come on, guys, we are just about to start Oregon. It's early in Oregon, my Lord. Hey, Jesus. Let's do this. I'm going to bring in a couple of other platforms. They don't get to hear all this chatter. If it's your first time, say first time. If it's your first time, it won't be your last time. I'm telling you, God's going to encounter you. Try not to multitask if you can help it. Try not to be distracted. I know some of you are getting kids ready for school. I get it. Nothing you can do about that. But try to just pray in the spirit the whole time. Try to just set your heart to receive. Try to just get in the same wavelength. Amen. I know it's difficult. You're driving to work. You don't want to get raptured in the middle of your middle of your drive to work. Your car would crash on the side of the road. That would be good. But just stay in the spirit. It's 2 a.m. in Alaska. We need an awakening. Dawn Asher. You know why you're here, Dawn Asher? <clears throat> because we need an awakening prayer hub in Alaska. We need an awakening prayer hub in Alaska. Awakeningprayerhubs.com. Join the movement. Let's start, guys. I don't want to go over time. I want to get started. So let's do this. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement. This is Mornings with the Holy Spirit, pressing in daily to the power and presence of God. I just want to prophesy to you something good is going to happen to you today. Today's broadcast is brought to you by the Seer Activation Tour Digital. I went all around the world with the Seer Activation Tour, igniting people, opening Seer eyes through the impartation, through the teaching. The faith comes by hearing the Word of God. If you want to step into Seer dimensions legally, not through back doors, not through, <laughs> not through illegal operations that we so often see today, Jesus is the door. Let me teach you. Let me train you. Get in on this teaching at school of the spirit TV. You're going to find the seer activation tour digital. Amen. Get involved in that. If it's going to bless you coming in guys, get settled. I'm coming to you live from South Florida. Our church awakening house of prayer is here and I'm there on Sundays, preaching, praying, prophesying and casting out devils. I'm telling you the truth. We are seeing such a move of God. It is thrilling my heart. I was just, uh, my eyes were worshiping. They were watering and I wasn't crying. I didn't know what was going on. God is doing so much in our midst. If you're in South Florida, please get over there. I'm sharing three different teachings every single week, 1047 a.m., 1.30 p.m., and 4 p.m. We have prophetic worship in the first two services. That third service is straight up equipping, so don't be late. You can watch the first service online at school of the, uh, at uh, ahop.online, ahop.online, A-H-O-P dot online. You can go deeper, have more access to me, get on my virtual prayer uh, request line, virtual uh, pastoral advice, virtual life group. We've got the virtual healing rooms virtual prophecy rooms. We've got uh, all my archives over there for you. I'm teaching archives from AHOP. It's all there for you. Go deeper, get official at ahop.online slash webchurch. Amen. You can also come in to the second service, 1.30 p.m. That's School of the Spirit at AHOP. That's streamed exclusively at schoolofthespirit.tv. We're in a series called Deactivating Generational Curses. Deactivating Generational Curses. And people are getting free. I mean, it's it's... Whew, it's been a, a really good series. You should get on over there, schoolofthespirit.tv slash generational curse. I didn't realize I still had generational curses working in my bloodline until I began to study deeper and, ta and teach this. And uh, the same might be the case for you. The third service is School of the Spirit at AHOP. It's either School of Prophecy, School of Prayer, School of Deliverance. Come on, Deliverance Ministers. School of what? Seers? School of Spiritual Warfare, it's all over there for you. Guys, today we're going to read from Evenings with the Holy Spirit, pressing in daily or, or listening daily to the still small voice of God. It's my second devotional. And today's devotion is titled, What Will You Choose? What Will You Choose? And here's what I heard the Lord say. There are many distractions day and night. There are many distractions working to keep you from seeking Father's face, from seeking my heart. You have a clear choice in front of you, says the Lord. You can choose to ignore the distractions and cry out to me with everything in you, or you can remain less than fully satisfied. Choose to seek me and you will find me. Come on, that's a good word. Isn't it true? You sit down to pray. Distractions come like a flood. Your ears itch. You have to go to the bathroom. 15 people are calling you. Your mind wanders. We're going to choose Jesus. The scripture references are in the devotional. Pick up your copy of Evenings with the Holy Spirit on my website, jenniferleclair.org. The prayer starter. You have set before me life and death. I choose life. I choose to put to death the enemy's distractions that try to take me off the course Father has set for me. I choose to dwell in your presence despite the cares of this world or the distractions of people. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we praise you today because you are a God whose focus is on us. We are the apple of your eye and we're grateful. We're so, so grateful 
Oh, what other God could we serve that would be so kind, that would be so loving, that would be so merciful. Your mercies are new every single day. It's never too late to turn around. It's never too late to say yes. It's never too late to go where you've called us to go. Jonah repented and went to the city of Nineveh and completed his mission after an utter failure. We thank you, Lord, because you are the God of second chances. There is nothing too hard for you. You are the God who takes our messes and makes miracles out of them when we turn to you with our whole heart. When we cry out to you with everything in us, you will hear us. So we praise you because you're the God who hears us. You're not just the God who sees us. You're the God who hears us. You're not just the God who hears us. You are the God who holds us firmly in his grip. Nothing shall separate us from your love. Nothing. No one can snatch you out, can snatch us out of your hands. Nothing. No one can keep us from your presence. So we refuse to be distracted from your heart today. We refuse to let one more day go by filled with distractions, filled with commotion, filled with frustration. No, 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 no. We are going to pursue your peace. We are going to pursue your presence. We are going to pursue your heart. We're going to pursue your love. We are God chasers and we will chase you down, God. We will seek you when you can be found. You are everywhere all the time, but sometimes we don't sense you. Sometimes we don't feel you, but we're going to pursue you. Even when we can't see you, we don't know you're there. We can't hear you. It doesn't say we're going to keep chasing after you. Sometimes it's a dark night of the soul. Sometimes you're silent. Sometimes you're waiting on us to pursue you with everything in us, to give it your, our whole heart. I see that, Lord. Jesus, I see that, Lord. And the Lord would say to you today, I want more of you. Do you want more of me? For I am willing to pour myself out to you, says the Lord. Are you willing to pour your life out for me? I have done for you all that I promise, and I will do even more than you could ever imagine, says the Lord. What will you do for me? Will you be my hands? Will you be my feet? Will you be my voice in the earth to share my good news with the lost? Ask the Lord. Will you go anywhere I send you, no matter the peril, no matter the inconvenience, no matter the timing? Will you obey my heart? Because I want to use you. So I want to pour myself into you. I want to make you more like my son, says the Lord. Will you say yes to my process? Will you climb up on the potter's wheel and let me shape you and mold you into the image of Jesus? Will you do that for me, says the Lord? Will you let me use you? There will be great rewards in the sweet by and by, says the Lord. And I will even give you peace in this life and joy unspeakable and full of glory. For that is what you will find when you obey me. When you're willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land and nothing good shall be withheld from you, says the Lord. I want more of you, more of your time more of your love, more of your attention, more of your affection. I want more of you. I'm giving you all of me and I'm willing to continue pouring new revelation, new beauty for ashes, new joy for mourning, new oil, new anointing, new wind. I am willing to pour out, give out. <laughs> I don't tire out, says the Lord. What will you give me? I'm after your whole heart. I'm after your entire life. Will you surrender to me and my purposes in the earth? Ask the Lord. Jesus, we say yes to this divine exchange. We will decrease that you might increase in us. We say yes to this divine exchange. We will set aside childish things right now. Lord, show us where we need to change. Show us what we need to change. Show us what we need to set aside, what we need to give up, what we need to lay down. Would you show us, God? Show us, show us what you want us to stop doing, what you want us to start doing. Show us, show us, Lord, what you want us to read, what you want us to listen to, what you want us to stop reading, what you want us to stop listening to. Show us, Lord, how you want us to pray.
when you want us to pray, what you want us to pray. Lord, we are utterly dependent on your generous spirit. We are utterly dependent on your leadership. We are utterly reliant on the one true living God. We are utterly trusting in your heart because your heart is good, but our heart is evil above all things. Who can know it? Lord, help us, cleanse us, cleanse our hands, purify our hearts. Lord, we want to ascend to the holy hill. We want to live in your presence. We want to live proxim to, pro with proximity to you. We want to live in the spirit. We want to live in the spirit, God. We want to live in the spirit. So help us to keep our eyes, our minds set on things above and not on the things of the world. For the mind set on carnal things is death. But the mind set on the things of the spirit is, is, is eternal life. Or we want to begin to taste eternity even now. We want to taste the peace of eternity. We want a little glimpse. We want a little taste. We know we won't experience the fullness of it until Jesus returns for the bride, glorious, without spot or wrinkle. Lord, but give us a little taste of heaven on earth. Give us a little glimpse of heaven on earth. Let us tap in to the peace that passes all understanding. It's a supernatural peace. Let us tap in to the supernatural joy, not joy like the world gives it, not peace like the world gives it, not mere happiness, but joy, deep, 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 deep joy that cannot be disturbed. Peace that does not pass away. God, would you help us to catch a glimpse, to taste and see how good you are in this life? Help us, Lord, because we're hungry, because we're thirsty, because we have a more in our heart. We want more. We're not satisfied with yesterday's manna. We're not satisfied with yesterday's revelation. We're not satisfied with yesterday's poor. We want more. We're not satisfied with yesterday's breakthrough. We're not satisfied with yesterday's touch. We're not satisfied. We have a more in our heart. God, keep pouring more. We want more. We want more, not just because we want more for us. We want more to give to others. We want to walk in such a joy that it spills out over our, our, our through our mouth and, and just everything we do. We want more peace because we want to demonstrate the peace of God to those who don't know you and those who don't know you well enough yet because they're newborns, they're babes in Christ, and they need to understand the peace is real. It surpasses all understanding. The joy is unspeakable. We can't even describe it. Lord, help us. Give us more, 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 more. So we have some to pour to the lost. So we have some to pour to the babes in Christ. So we have some to pour out in prayer. When the enemy's attacking us, it won't disturb us any longer. Our joy cannot be stolen. Our peace cannot be stolen. Oh, Jesus. Lord, it's not just about us. It's about all those you want to touch. So position us to touch people. I know it's been said, many people want to change the world, but we can't change the world until we change ourselves. So, Lord, we lay our hearts bare before you today and we say, have your way. Change us. Conform us. Mold us. Shape us into the image of your dear son because he walked in perfect peace, undisturbed peace. He walked in joy. He walked in love. He walked in kindness. He walked in mercy. We want to walk like Jesus walked. We want to live in the spirit. Lord, help us. We're not, we're not, we're not content with where we are because we know there's more. And Lord, we don't want to walk in condemnation when we fall, when we stumble, when we, when we slip up. Lord, we don't want to walk in condemnation, but we do want to walk sensitive enough to your spirit that we will sense your conviction when we're going the wrong way. That we will sense your conviction over what is right, what to do. Not just what not to do, but what to do. The Holy Spirit, you will convict us of things to do. Not just things not to do, or we want the full, the full, the fullness of your counsel, the whole counsel of God. We want to know what you're thinking about everything that concerns us. We want to know what you're saying about everything that concerns us. Not just the big troubles and oh God, oh God, help me, I'm in distress. No, we want to know what you think, what you feel about everything concerning our lives and everything that you have called us to. We want to know. We want to know what you think about it because your thoughts, <laughs> they're higher than our thoughts, your ways. They're higher than our ways. And we want to move in your spirit. And that means understanding how your spirit moves. 
We want to we want to think like your spirit, which means knowing how your spirit thinks. So, Lord, give us a hunger for the word of God, a hunger for the spirit of God, a hunger for the truth that sets us free, a hunger. Lord, give us the gift of hunger today. Lord, would you give us the gift of hunger today? Lord, would you give us the gift of hunger today? Because I know there are some listening to me and they're like, yeah, whatever. Just give me, I just need some money. Whatever, all this peace junk. I just need some, I just need my marriage restored. Whatever. Well, you don't understand. My prodigal's out there, well, you know, in, in the pig pen. You don't get it. You know, just pray for me. Just pray for me. Oh, Jesus, would you help us to understand? That the most important things that we could ever pray for are not natural things, but spiritual things. Yes, you will take care of our prodigals. Yes, you want to restore our marriage. Yes, you want to pay our bills. Yes, you want to, Lord, but help us, Lord, focus more on the things of the spirit. Walking in love. Cultivating peace. <laughs> Helping those who can't help themselves. Would you help us to get our mind off of our problems and put our mind on you so that we can get instructions on how to pray, what to say, where to go, what not to go, and to trust you that you will work everything out for our good, to pray in the spirit, knowing that you're praying perfect prayers through us. Or we want to we want to see, we want to know you more. We want to know you more. And that means laying aside some of our own carnal desires. They might not be wicked, but they're still not divine. It might mean laying aside some things that hinder love, turning off the TV, setting aside some bad habits. God, would you just help us? Because we, we, we say yes. You have our yes. You have our yes. We don't have to beg and plead with you. And you don't have to beg and plead with us for our yes. You have our yes. And we have your yes. Jesus is the amen. Revelation says, and one of the names for Jesus is amen. You are the amen. You are our yes. You are our pathway to the father. You are our ticket to eternity. You died for us. What more would you not do for us? You provide for the birds and you'll provide for us. The grass and of the, the lilies and all that. You, you will provide for us. Help us, Lord, to spend more time praying to be conformed to the image of Christ. And more time praying to, 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 to walk in love and to manifest the fruit of the Spirit. More time praying to help somebody else. More time in intercession than we do for our own carnal needs. Because I know when we do that, that you will meet every need. And it's okay to ask. You want us to ask. But you don't want us to ask repetitively because we're so worried. We don't believe you heard us the first time. So help us find balance in our prayer life. Help us to continue to seek your face. You are the one true living God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Jesus, come on. He's worth it. He's worth it. He's worthy. He's worthy of our surrender. He's worthy of our allegiance. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, share this with somebody really quickly. We're going to go a little bit higher right now. We're going to begin to enter into this segment of the blood of Jesus. Let me get a sip of water for my throat. Amen. God is good. Begin to share this quickly. I need to, we need to just gather the masses for what's about to happen next. Share it on your timeline. Share it via Twitter. Share it via Messenger. <clears throat> he is worthy. <clears throat> he is holy. He is awesome. <laughs> Some of us still didn't get the message. That's all right. Go back and listen to it again. Some of us still didn't get the message. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We have to hear things seven or eight times before it sinks in. It's proven. Most of us don't get it the first time. That's why Jesus repeated himself. You know, he had several sermons. He repeated everywhere he went. Some people who followed his ministry heard the same sermons over and over and over again for three and a half years. The disciples heard those same sermons, the Sermon on the Mount, over and over and over. The parables, they heard them over and over and over. And then it sunk in. Repetition. That's why we want to read the Bible over and over and over. <clears throat> Let's begin to transition into this next segment. 
Oh boy. Help us, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Oh, Lord. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives even to the death, the blood of Jesus. Father, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for washing us clean, for cleansing us from all unrighteousness by the blood of Jesus. Oh, blood of Jesus, wash us white as snow. Oh, Father, saturate us in the blood of the sinless Lamb of God. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, remind us of what is available through the blood of Jesus, through the atonement, blood of Jesus. Restore our virtues in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus, fight for us in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, protect us and our family in the name of Jesus. Oh, blood of Jesus, break every yoke, every bondage, every fetter, every chain in the name of Jesus. Oh, blood of Jesus, deliver us from every tie that binds. Deliver us from nightmares. Deliver us, God, from hidden curses. Oh, blood of Jesus, redeem us from all of our sins. Oh, God, blood of Jesus. Oh, for the sake of the blood, Father, show mercy on us. Forgive us. Bring peace and joy into our lives because of the blood of Jesus. Deliver us from curses. Deliver us from witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Oh, I plead the blood of Jesus over my life. I plead the blood of Jesus over our children. I plead the blood of Jesus over our family. Families. I plead the blood of Jesus over our finances. I plead the blood of Jesus, oh, over everything that pertains to us. I plead the blood of Jesus against sickness. I plead the blood of Jesus over my city. I plead the blood of Jesus, oh, blood of Jesus, flow in the foundations of our lives and deliver us from evil in the name of Jesus. I thank you that the blood speaks a better thing. I thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Blood of Jesus, speak deeply into my life. Go down deep into the recesses of my soul and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, nullify and cancel every work of ancestral demons in our lives in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, disgrace our enemies in the name of Jesus. Put them to shame in the name of Jesus. Evict them from our presence in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over every expression of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against every evil curse in our bloodline in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus against the enemy of our souls in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against every hindering spirit, against every harassing spirit, against every spirit of delay, against every strange spirit troubling our lives in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against sickness, against disease, against diabetes, against cancer, against glaucoma. I plead the blood of Jesus against high blood pressure. Hey, I plead the blood of Jesus against every spirit of infirmity and all spirits of death. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus against every problem, against every idol erected in my life, against every inherited curse, against every dark power, against every principality, against every uh, spiritual wickedness, against every ruler of darkness, against every dominion and throne of the devil. I plead the blood of Jesus against the snakes and the serpents. I plead the blood of Jesus against the lions and the adders. I plead the blood of Jesus against distractions, time wasters. I plead the blood of Jesus against every blockage to our breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against every evil foundation. I plead the blood of Jesus over our minds, over our bodies, over our finances, over our businesses, over our ministries. I plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, I plead the blood of Jesus 
Oh, blood of Jesus, uproot anything in my life that does not belong there. Oh, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives even to the death. Blood of Jesus. Oh, blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over every system in our body, over our hearing, over our eyesight, over our digestion, over everything, 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 everything. We plead the blood of Jesus against every stubborn demon in our life. I plead the blood of Jesus over every evil deposit in our bloodline. I plead the blood of Jesus over our minds, over our wills. I plead the blood of Jesus. I declare that by the stripes of Jesus and the blood that came from those stripes, we are healed. I plead the blood of Jesus. Sickness, bow to the blood of Jesus. Infirmity, bow to the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Lord that our lives are under the blood. Our sins are under the blood. We are protected because of the blood. The blood speaks a better thing. Oh, blood of Jesus, paralyze every activity of sickness in our body. Root it up and cast it out. Oh, blood of Jesus. Oh, blood of Jesus, prepare the way for divine health in the name of Jesus. Oh, blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over our bank accounts. I plead the blood of Jesus over our revenue streams. I I plead the blood of Jesus over our careers. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against the spirit of poverty, against the spirit of debt, against the spirit of lack. I plead the blood of Jesus over our tithes and offerings. I plead the blood of Jesus over our real estate investments, over our stock market investments, over our 401ks. I plead the blood of Jesus over the work of our hands in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood 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 of Jesus. There's life in the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus against every satanic oppressor, against all oppression, regression, possession, obsession, depression. I plead the blood of Jesus over mental issues, anxiety, schizophrenia. I plead the blood of Jesus over worry. I plead the blood of Jesus against every evil altar. I say be silenced in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over every lawsuit, over every accusation, over every threat, over every witchcraft. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over our spiritual ears, over our spiritual eyes. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives even unto death. I plead the blood of Jesus over our households. I plead the blood of Jesus over our automobiles. I plead the blood of Jesus over our travel plans. I plead the blood of Jesus over the fruit of our womb. I plead the blood of Jesus. 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 I thank you, Lord, that you protect us by the blood. I thank you. I plead the blood of Jesus over all things you've called us to steward. I plead the blood of Jesus over the portals of our minds. I plead the blood of Jesus over our temples. I plead the blood of Jesus over our emotions. I plead the blood of Jesus over our will. I plead the blood of Jesus over our imaginations. I plead the blood of Jesus over our reasonings. I plead the blood of Jesus over our intellect. I plead the blood of Jesus over over our children, our grandchildren, and our grandchildren's grandchildren. I plead the blood of Jesus over our family line. I plead the blood of Jesus. The blood speaks a better thing. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony, and we love not our lives even to the death. Thank you, Lord, for your blood. We thank you, Jesus, for your blood. The blood speaks a better thing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hey, yabake tero shor rabababashi, ketero shor rabababashi, come on. Kate romosto, breshte ketara moshe ketere woshe, he shor rabashi, or rabababa shor rabashi, brim baba shor rabashi, robo shor rabababashi, brekete rabashi, ketere rabashi, come on. Oh, Jesus, some people over there on Instagram want to argue with me. You can't plead the blood over your reasonings. You can plead the blood over everything. The reasoning is part of your mind. 
your mind, it, your soul is your mind, your will, your emotions, your imaginations, your reasonings, and your intellect. All of that is part of your mind, which is part of your soul. Oh, so don't tell me I can't plead the blood of Jesus over my mind and what comes through my mind. Oh, Jesus, don't lie against the truth. Oh, my God. Don't steal the faith of other people. We can plead the blood of Jesus over our mind. Amen. We can plead the blood of Jesus over our finances. We can plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus, what we're doing is we are going before the Lord and saying, because of the blood, protect me from the devourer of my finances. Because of the blood, protect me from the enemy of my mind. Because of the blood, protect me, God. Protect me from my own self because of the blood, because of the blood, because of the blood, because of the blood. When you go into a court, you plead your case, but the blood of Jesus pleads for you. If it wasn't for the blood of Jesus, you would not win your case against the enemy. The enemy accuses you night and day, day and night before the Lord. The enemy is the accuser of the brethren. It's the blood that speaks for you when the enemy wants to attack your finances. It's the blood that speaks to you when the enemy wants to attack your reasoning and inject lies to get you to uh, believe a, a something that's going to derail your life. It's the blood of Jesus. 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 So don't you dare come on my broadcast and steal the faith of God's people just because you don't believe the word of God. It's an agent of Satan trying to steal your faith. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against every attack of false prophets, doubt, unbelief, lies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise and honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on. You got it? Plead the blood of Jesus. Listen. Oh, some people don't believe in that. Listen, I believe in it. And what, what harm, even if we were all wrong, even if we were all wrong, which we're not, does it do any harm? You know, I can uh, sing about the blood. People will begin to manifest. The devil doesn't like when you talk about the blood. Did you know that? The enemy hates the blood of Jesus because the blood of Jesus is what redeemed you. It's what justified you. It's what saved you. It's what cleanses you from all unrighteousness. It's the blood of Jesus. So when you begin to talk about the blood, the enemy, he didn't like that. He will back up. That's why when we're doing deliverance ministry, we have one person in the room when things get hot and heavy just to stand there and plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Guys, if this broadcast is helping you, I want to invite you to please consider becoming a partner with Jennifer LeClaire Ministries. You can go over there to jenniferleclair.org slash partners. We are trying to fund the television uh, initiative and we need your help. We need help from people who believe in what we're doing. You can go over there to jenniferleclair.org slash partners and you can choose uh, a partnership plan. We want to just bless you with all kinds of resources and gifts when you become a partner. And if you don't want to become a partner, maybe you're not ready to do that yet. You can sow a seed. If this broadcast is helping you, would you please consider sowing a seed? It would really help us to continue the work that God has called us to do. You can sow at jenniferleclair.org slash donate if you just want to sow a one-time seed you can use the uh text to give text the word 754-701-261 text the pray Jesus said it's blessed to give than to receive amen so if you're receiving from this broadcast that means you're blessed you'll be even more blessed when you give into what's blessing you i'm telling you it's a principle of my life text the word pray to 754-701-6261 text the word uh, uh, tech, uh, you can use the PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can text, you can use the Venmo. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the Zelle. Zelle info at Jennifer LeClaire. Zelle is info Jennifer LeClaire. Use the Cash App. Cash App is dollar sign for folks. Cash app is Dine Prophetic Books. You can use the box, P.O. Box 305, Sickly Fort, Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Hello, Angela, P.O. Box 30563, 
Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. And that partner page, again, you can see all the partner programs we have now. We want to give, we want to give lots back to you when you partner. Go to jenniferleclair.org slash partners. Help us to get this TV initiative underway. Consider becoming a partner. I want to pray. Oh, Father, I thank you for the revelation of the blood of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that you are so good. That you are so good. We can believe your word. We can believe the power of your blood working in our lives around us, between us and all evil. You can, you can, you can, you can just continue to give us revelation of your blood today, God. And just ask you to bless this offering in the name of Jesus, that we can do what you've called us to do in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that you bring it back to them 30, 60, 100 fold, maximum blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on, Jill, you got it right. Amen. It never ceases to amaze me how people want to argue with somebody while they're actually praying. I normally don't see it. How can you garden legacy? How can you listen to this again? You're going to go over to my YouTube channel. And you'll be able to find the archive there at youtube.com slash Jennifer LeClaire Ministries. That's where these archives are. Yes, you can plead the blood of Jesus over your mind, the crown of thorns. That's right. People just want to be argumentative. It's uh, it's a shame that that uh, in their ignorance, while I'm literally praying, they want to argue with me. But because that's the kind of stuff that breeds strife and it steals the faith of others who are new believers and might not have studied the Bible yet. So that's why we call those things out and block them. He'll just uh, he'll just uh, have to live in that kind of ignorance. I'd hate it if we couldn't rely on the blood. The blood's not just to save us. The blood's not just to save us. That was the primary purpose of the shedding of the blood. But in the blood, there's atonement. In the blood, there's, you know, because of the, the healing, deliverance, all because of the blood. Amen. So, you know, that, that didn't just cover the moment you got saved. That's your whole life. You don't always get, you know, you don't always get all completely healed. Once you get saved, you can get sick again. You can get any kind of disease. God forbid. So we have to understand. Hello, Micah. God bless you. Hello, Judy Murdy. <laughs> I met Judy yesterday in our lobby. It was a thrill. It was a thrill. Remember, today's broadcast is sponsored by the Seer Activation Tour Digital. You'll find that at schoolofspirit.tv. It's a teaching to open your see, see, see your eyes, building your faith, and then an activation prayer. I toured all over the world with this. And uh, uh, literally went to London, Trinidad. Uh, Singapore. We went all over the world with this tour and then the pandemic hit. So now we're doing it digitally because God has moved me on to some other endeavors in this season. And I really want to still teach these seers. You can follow that up with the school of the seers, the seer activation tour digital. You're going to want to get in on that. If you have any interest in understand and uh, getting your eyes activated, it's, it's an activation lesson. It's not like a deep teaching on seers. It's a faith to believe that God wants to open your seer eyes and help you to see in the spirit. Amen. God is good all the time. Y'all still plead in the blood. That's awesome. <laughs> Remember to put the E on the end of my name, guys. I only say that because... What happens is many people get deceived because they don't know how to spell my last name. And then some false prophets want to want to message you on Twitter or Facebook or TikTok or Instagram. And because you don't know how to spell my name and they don't either, you get fooled by it. You really think it's me. I don't email and message people on Facebook or social media uh, asking for money for orphanages and prophesying. I don't do that. Just so you know, we get that every day. People contact our ministry saying, is this you? It's not me. It's not me. I wouldn't do that. Amen. I don't have an orphanage. Okay. All right. I don't have one. So I can't ask you to sow into something I don't have. So it's not me. So be careful. Yeah. Be careful. We've had so many problems over this broadcast. I'll tell you lately, the enemy is just attacking this broadcast with everything he's got. So do pray in the mornings before you sign on that there won't be any audio disturbances. It doesn't even make any sense. I tested the other day. It was completely silent. And I tested it right after and it worked just fine. Nothing changed. No settings changed. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. So you tell me. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, especially with so many praying. But Cindy Jacobs told me I don't have a large enough prayer shield 
Uh, and uh, that's just the truth. You want to go to prayforjennifer.com. You can be part of that prayer shield. But don't just join the group just to be a loo and see what prayer requests are going forth. If you're going to join, then, you know, you don't have to pray every day all the time. But, you know, respond sometimes. Respond sometimes. You know, click click a like button if you prayed or do something. Let us know you're praying. Amen. Because that encourages me to know that you're praying. I read a book not too long ago, and they were talking about how um, this is a very, very old book. And they're talking about how just people knowing, knowing that you're praying for them just encourages them. It builds their faith just to know that someone's praying for them. And I can say that's true. It encourages me when I know that people are praying. Even, I mean, I know some people lie and they say, I'm praying for you and they're not. Well, that's between them and God, but it, it is encouraging to know that people are praying for you. So I love to hear that when it's true. If it's not true, please don't tell me that because you don't want to lie before the Lord. <laughs> you know, it's not, you don't want to lie before the Lord just to impress me or get in my good favor, you know, but, uh, but I love you guys. I'm praying for you every day. I actually pray for you again. After I get up this prayer broadcast, I pray for you literally before I get on this prayer broadcast. Then I pray for you after I get off this prayer broadcast. So I'm praying for you all the time. You should feel special and covered because God loves you. You should feel special because he loves you enough to raise up people to pray for you. Amen. He does that because he loves you. God is so good all the time. All the time. God is good. I will be in Houston next week. I think it's next week. Is it next week? Week after next? Might be the week after next. The week of the 23rd, 24th. I'll be in Chattanooga and I will be in Houston. Amen. And then after that is the Elijah Company. If you haven't signed up for the Elijah Company, there's only, uh, I think there's like four or five seats left. I haven't checked lately. I think uh, some of the people that were coming online are now wanting to, to come in person. And of course, uh, we're going to have worship. We're going to have seven deep teachings on the prophetic. And I keep changing the classes this time because there's so much I want to teach. It has to be taught in the right order. And uh, uh, we're going to have impartation services. There's lots of words of knowledge. We have, my God, uh, a mass deliverance service. We have so much going on during that weekend. And uh, looking forward to commissioning some people in the prophetic. Shorter, da, ba, 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 shikiti. Pat, you want to put up the link for your uh, your event there in Houston that I'm going to be at? I don't have that right in front of me. But if you can, Pat, if you're still listening, if you want to put the name of the event and the venue or the link to your event that you're hosting, then please do that. The 23rd and the 24th. God is good. Put up the link if you can, Pat, or tell them the name of the event so they can search it out online and give them your website or something. The Elijah event, globalpropheticcenter.com for the Elijah company. You can watch online. Of course, I can't lay hands on you and do a lot of other stuff. You watch online, but I know some of you can't get there in person. You have to apply. You have to apply globalpropheticcenter.com. Thank you, LaShonda. The website for the Houston event is www.drpata, www.drpata.com. <laughs> yes, Lord. Y'all still pleading the blood. That's awesome. You're still pleading the blood. Globalpropheticcenter.com, www.drpata. Dot com for the use of the event. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Ye basharra bashi. Kete roboboshi. Tomorrow I'm going to Orlando. She basharra bashi. Kete roboboshi. But it's not a public meeting. So you can't, you can't come. <laughs> God is good. Pray for me, guys. I got to run. I love you. You're awesome. Remember, something good is going to happen to you today. Something already did. God bless you. I'll see you. Do you apply for each Elijah company? Yes, you do. You got to apply for each one. Now, Micah, if you got a link already because you were part of the last one, right after the last Elijah company, I sent out within a couple of days the link to sign up for the new one as a private link, you can sign up, but otherwise, yeah, you have to apply because you can't get the registration link. 
without applying. And the registration link is, is a private link that you can't get. God bless you. Have a breakthrough day.